How's it going guys? You look amazing today and you are amazing and welcome to the Pad TV episode 20. So I just got my CFI license a few weeks ago and today I wanted to share my personal experiences and some tips and how I prepared for my initial CFI check ride and this will mostly be about oral exam on the check ride, how can you prepare for your lesson plans and so I hope this video helps you out. If you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out any tips on getting into aviation. So it's been about two years after I get my commercial and I decided to start my CFI training. I know it can be hard to get back into aviation if you didn't use this knowledge and skills in your daily life, but you still can do it. This video I will be breaking down into about five parts. I will also link the timestamps down below so you can see which part you are interested in. So the first part is what to expect from the examiners. And so there are a lot of rumors out there about CFI oral exam and it is one of the hardest oral exam you will get. So you might wonder how it is like during the oral exam. Before my check ride, I've asked around um, people who've done the CFI check ride and they all gone through with different examiners and they told me what each examiner go through their own oral exam process. So everyone is different. I'm just gonna share a few. There is like discussion style so you and the examiner discuss a topic or Q&A the examiner asks you a question and you just answer it's basically like your normal check ride or on my check ride my examiner wants me to present lesson plans on the topics that he chose and then after I present he will ask me some questions if I didn't cover the entire topic purpose of the check ride is that the examiner wants to know that you are able to teach the student and also you have sufficient knowledge to know how to teach. You can ask people around you about their experiences and so you can gather information on which style that you should practice on. What you want to expect is that you don't have to memorize everything because that is impossible. Memorize everything in aviation that is so during the exam, you can have your lesson plans ready and then you can use that as your notes but you don't want to just read off your notes you want to act like you know the information on there and you just want to look at it when you forget something and then look at it and then you can start continue talking on with your lesson only thing that you have to memorize is FOI and one last thing when examiners ask you a question if you don't understand or you don't know the answer or you have to look it up you can say can you give me a minute or two and then I will get back to you but you don't want to use up like 10 minutes to find the answer so this is where you know where everything is and where to find your answer these are a few things that you can expect from an examiner next biggest part is how to prepare for your lesson plan so we talked about the only thing that you have to memorize on is your FOI. Examiners will Q&A ask you to explain certain things in FOI and you have to be able to just answer him without looking at any notes. There are a tons of resources out there. I will link some YouTube videos below. There is a CFI YouTube channel that he talks about the regulations and FOI and everything about the aviation. I think it's a very good channel that you can look at to prepare check ride and also your FOI. The most important book that you have to have is the CFI PTS. How to prepare for your lesson plan is you can follow CFI PTS and follow each task and to make lesson plans for each task by the PTS or you can find it on FAA website. Now because on the check ride you can be asked anything so I recommend you to prepare for a lesson plan for every task on there so when the examiner asks you then you are prepared to answer their question. Also on the PTS there is listed mandatory tasks so the examiner will definitely ask you these tasks and I recommend you to do these lesson plans first and after that you complete the other tasks. If you search online there might be some free examples about each lesson plan. You can use their CFI lesson plans as example and then you change it to your own. It's easier for you to understand and when you are glance at it and you know what to do and what to know, just make it yours, it will be easier for you. And I have also decided to share my CFI notes during my training. I will link it down below but don't use it as 
study purpose because if the information might change. And again, you not only want to be prepared for your lesson plans, you also want to know where to find the information. For example, regulations, part 61, 91, very important if you need to find the limitation or the privileges or the requirements for each licenses, then you need to know where to look at. Okay, so the next thing is that you want to print out 6165 endorsement advisory circular when you're being asked about endorsements, how to give endorsements and which endorsements to give, you can open that advisory circular and then just show the examiner which endorsement that you have to give for example for private pilot or for student pilot on there there is example of endorsements so you don't have to write your own endorsements the last thing about preparing your lesson plan is that when you find information you have to find it on credible sources so you don't want to just find it on some forum you want to make sure that this source is correct one of the things examiner is looking at is that you are providing correct information and not just random information you find it online credible sources might be gold method on FAA website, on AOPA, and I would reference that inside your lesson plans. So if you don't know the information, you know which website you got it, and then you can refer back to that website or to that information or that page. So the next topic that we'll be talking about is a few ways that you can do to present your presentation. So depend on where you at, maybe the location of your check ride only have a whiteboard, have a projector, or you have your own laptop. So depend on what instructional aid you have, you can decide which presentation method that you want to use. If you want to use presentation, I recommend an app is called Prezi. So Prezi is a app that allows you to make your own presentation in a interactive way. So I find it very interesting and I love using it and it feels like very exciting to use this app to use to teach and it also can gain um, people's attention when you are presenting to them. And there are several ways that you can do your lesson plans. For example, you can type it or you can um, write it on a piece of paper or now you can write it on your iPad with your uh, digital pens. So then if you have any mistakes, then you can still erase it out and edit your notes. And again, I have shared my notes below. I have made PDF and on some topics, I have made presentations and also I have handwrite my notes on iPad. If you want to check that out, link will be down below. Just to add one more thing, while you're presenting, you want to use as many instructional aids as possible to gain examiner's attention so you're not being very bored. What you can do is you can have your model airplanes to demonstrate, for example, the principles of flight, the four forces or the turns, or you can show some images, some pictures for visual aid. These are a good instructional aids to gain attention. The so next thing is I just wanted to share with you guys some reference materials that you guys can use to find information for your lesson plans and I will list it on the screen here and you will also find it inside the links below. The last thing that I want to share is some tips for before your check ride. So you want to make sure you're professional so you dress clean and have a good attitude. Also your materials are all organized you don't want to be messy and don't know where to find your thing. Prepare some water and some food for in, in between breaks. Depends on your check ride situation, it might last for 5-6 hours. You want to make sure that you have the energy and the brain is still functioning while the check ride is going on. And the very last thing is during your preparation, if you have friends that is CFI or is also working on their CFI, hang out with them and ask them questions and pretend to teach them your lesson plans. The more you practice to present your lesson plans, the easier for you on your check ride. So I hope this video helps with you prepare your CFI check ride. If so, please give it a like and also subscribe. If you have any questions, you can link it down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I will see you and your amazing self 